Keeps clips. Remember, citizens, subscribe, hit the bell, and it will keep you out of hell. Alrighty, boob tubes, another one of Kip's clips. So this is a must-see video, right? Let's go in a time machine to when glasses were smaller. <laughs> Wear a pair of children's glasses I was wearing, man. God knows, must have been on tangy tangerine back then, man. Right? But this is two thousand and thirteen. Um. I want to play it for 150. I'll leave a link for this down below if you want to go and listen to it. But as you see, it was a, a well. Let's let's have a wee look at. Alrighty, Truth Tube. I'm down here at Glasgow Green. Truth Tube. At the anonymous meeting. And as you can see, there's a million and one anonymous down here. Woo! I know. Anyway, so it's Kev Faker doing the filming. You can go and listen to the start of the rant. When I voice very many opinions that I no longer hold. But there are some things that remain true. And this is back in 2013, so this was seven years ago, right? So let's see if there's a few things that remain consistent about me. Now, do bear in mind, this was in and around the time I went down to Bilderberg. And when I was down at Bilderberg, I was... Not a fan of Alex Jones, and I was not a fan of David Icke. I would take the piss, I'd take the piss out of them. You know, David Icke I thought was just crazy because he's lizard stuff, and Alex Jones I thought was a Zionist shell. You know, <laughs> that was my that was where my head was at back then. Um. So with regards to my attitude towards Icke and Jones, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed for me. And beware of the controlled revolution. I'm, I'm, I'm a clairvoyant. This is how I've stayed clear of all the culty thinking. Because I knew we were getting controlled by the Illuminati back then. Trolls it there. Scumballs a lot of them, man. Scumball. And then you've got Snowden. Snowden. I'm going to reserve jud judgment on Snowden. Oh. I believe what he's saying. I think what he's saying is absolutely spot on. I... I question whether he's a genuine whistleblower in the sense that he's doing this out of the goodness of his heart. Oh my god, I'm a clairvoyant. Even back then, I was like, oh, Snowden, he's saying, I believe what he's saying. What he's saying is true because he was saying everything I wanted to hear. <coughs> but I'm skeptical as to why, why he's doing it because I think he was part of the controlled revolution. That was seven years ago, look where we are now. Can you imagine going back then and, and saying that you would have you kept Tommy Robinson marching thousands of people on the street? <laughs> James Goddard and Jada Francine and Jim Dowson never been so popular on the interwebs. Um, but anyway, I digress. I think if you stay, take a step back and see a bigger picture, you've got two sides here. You've got the, the normal tyrants, you've got just the run-of-the-mill tyrants that's been about for fucking ages. Then you've got on the other side these people that are literally trying to kick up a revolution. The people that are trying to kick up the revolution are Alex Jones, David Icke, they're the ones that are trying to upset the, the, the status quo. I'm not telling you whether the status quo is good, bad, evil, demonic, satanic, right? You make your own mind up, right? Let's just call it the status quo. <laughs> they're the ones that are using the mainstream media, i.e. I, the internet, which they hijacked very early on, to bring around a revolution and upset the status quo. So let's call the status quo the old world order. So let's say they want to upset the old world order and usher in a new order. Well, that would be technically, they're actually trying to bring around the new world order that they use as a meme to make everybody shit their pants. I can see it now. People are not trying to put the brakes on this revolution. They are trying to speed it up. That's why you're getting so much piss through the papers. That's why Tommy Robinson's on the TV. That's why Tommy Robinson's on Newsnight. That's why David Icke's on the BBC. That's why David Icke's on Newsnight. That's why uh, Alex Jones is on BBC. I'm not sure if Alex Jones had been on the BBC at that point yet, right? Um, but there's... Well, I'm a clairvoyant, man. I can predict the future. I can predict that James Goddard was in the Knights Templar. And I can predict in 2013 that a lot of the pish we're getting served up was the way to like, bring around the revolution. Right, um, let's think. 
Was your kip invented back then? I'm not even sure. If it was, it was in its infancy. Same with the EDL and all that. So much absolute... I mean, I'm sitting there talking about controlled revolution as I'm going down to meet people with their masks and go, come on, let's go and start a revolution. You know, the, 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 the irony and the hypocrisy of myself back then doesn't escape me, trust me. <laughs> I mean, I, I fall into the trap myself. I go and read the news every day and I'm sitting shouting in front of the camera. It's working, it's getting my blood, blood boiling and that is what they are setting out to do. They are wanting to bring about the revolution. I don't know too much about the uh, French Revolution, obviously a Masonic revolution. I know more about it now, and go and, hold on actually, wait, I, 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 I'm saying go and look into this when I can do it myself. Great fear. Right, French, great fear, French history, Britannica. Right, again, not Alex Jones, not anybody, this is real scholarly shit. <laughs> um... A period of panic and riot by peasants and others amid rumours of an aristocratic uh, aris, uh, uh, conspiracy by the king and the privileged to overthrow the third estate. Now, I'm, I'm stabbing in the dark here. My best guess, the third estate, is like your middle classes. It's the exact same meme that we're getting served up by these people. I'm not saying it's the same folk. I'm, maybe it is. I'm not saying it's the same people. What I'm saying is they're using the same techniques that have been tried and proven and tested throughout history in the past. Fear to control the peasants. They used the they used the peasants to further their political cause. And who jink got in power? The peasants. Uh, 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 uh. No. <laughs> anyway, and it's the exact same what they done when Neo was. Fiddling when Rome is burning. You know, it's, it's how they control the populi. Anyway. Knights Templar. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to start branding this the French Revolution 2.0. It's just the French Revolution on a global scale. And you need to be very careful here. We've got Bitcoin coming out. Careful. One world digital currency. You've got the G8 coming out and announcing global tax laws. <laughs> one world tax. This is scary fucking times. Use some of that tax and buy yourself a new tooth, you dick. And don't, don't pay attention to putting in a bar. And fucking a pair of specs that fit you. <laughs> I'm a button head. Oh, fuck's sake, my hair looks better than it does the new man, but I kind of get a hair yes. They're button heads at the top of the fucking table for the fucking head spot. That is it. Those two cunts are uh, committed to enslaving every human being on this planet. Freedom, dum dums. Hey, so a head, diff a head space in a completely different head space. But there's a few things that remain consistent. I was sceptical about Ike. I was sceptical about Jones. I was sceptical about Snowden. I was sceptical about all these things that we were getting offered up that just fucking fitted perfectly in with this New World Order narrative that we were getting fed. And that's... It was through me giving myself the freedom away from other people's uh, cult leaders to explore that and having the confidence to actually talk about this amongst others. And it's weird... Now, because people are so riled up, you talk badly about Ike, London Real, Jones, Max Egan, everybody's wetting their neck, fucking hating me for slagging off public figures, or people who I believe are out and working as part of a coordinated network uh, to promote worldwide fascism, that's what I genuinely believe, but hey ho, I'm crazy conspiracy kip. <laughs> Anyway, so beware of the controlled revolution. It's a must-see. Kip at Glasgow Green in 2013. All right, remember, it's 2020 now, so I'm digital busking. It is all available and accessible free of charge. You can subscribe and bell up as well. <laughs> I hope to do such a good job. You'll find value in what I do and use your spare change, not your life savings, in the Patreon and PayPal buttons down below. And a mega, 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 mega thanks to those who do. Alrighty, boob tubes. I shall catch you later. Catch you. Oh no. While we're here, we might as well say happy Clips, birthday to Edward Snowden. No. Uh, the Nazi regime. The so Nazis and Snowden. And Nazis and Snowden and Snowden and Nazis. Ah! Catchies! Kips, clips!
Remember, citizen, to stay safe these days, you have to subscribe and bell up so you know what is up. Dala dala bill, y'all. Get cheese.